Hey everybody, welcome back to my carving shed here in Virginia. This video is a follow up to last week's video which is on adding a metal finish to a skull. Now one thing that I kind of glazed over in that video was aging a metal finish with a black or brown wax. I highly recommend, which I don't have in front of me, let me grab it using these waxes this is again from sculpt niveau i'll leave links to all the stuff in the description of this video including the video on how to add a metal finish but the wax just gives uh, an aged look to the metal finish as it is right now so we have a prong horn here and i have a copper finish on the skull and if you just leave it like that without any type of patina whatsoever it just looks really flat so by adding the wax, you really bring everything together. Again, give it more of an aged look to the metal finish. Okay, so the process of adding the wax is really nothing complicated. You simply dab it on with a paint brush. Now the thing which I'm gonna offer to you, which is kind of from my own experience of doing this, and which is actually against what the manufacturer recommends, they recommend putting it on and wiping off within an hour, no more than an hour. Like they highly stress, uh, wait no longer than this time to buff in any circumstances. Uh, but I'm actually gonna say, leave it on there for 12 to even 24 hours. The wax does have a hardener in it, so it will cure, unlike, uh, you know, just like a wax candle, right? Uh, this does have a curing agent in it, so it will cure hard. But if you wipe it away right away, it just does not seem to have that same effect of adding uh, kind of a aged, uh, weathered look to the skull. If you leave it on there and let it start to cure, then come back and wipe it off or rub it off, you get a much better finish to the skull. Take my word for it. Um, I'll see if I can have an example here of one that I wiped off immediately. Again, it doesn't look all that bad. Um, but it definitely looks a lot better if you let it cure. Again, 12 hours, 24 hours at the absolute most. All right, so now that the wax has, has cured for a little over 12 hours, just get your rag and start rubbing off the surface, the excess wax, and then what you'll end up with is the cured, partially cured wax that stays in the valleys, the low parts uh, of the skull, and just gives you a really good contrast, and again, a weathered look. So I had applied the copper coating to the skull. Uh, it just worked out for this video. Um, this is for a customer, but this is a copper C, so it is harder than the B, um, but just keep in mind while you are uh, kind of buffing it out that uh, you don't want to rub it extremely hard so that the uh, the finish comes off. But you do have a little bit more leeway with the um, C metals just because there is more metal and there is a hardener in it. But the wax also works really well with lighter types of metals like uh, the silver that you've seen me do. It works exceptionally well in my opinion with that type of finish. And there you have it. So really simple process, but it definitely gives a lot more depth and character to the uh, metal finish. So you can uh, put a clear coat on it after the fact if you would like. Um, definitely let the wax fully cure. So I'd leave it for you know a day or two before you did put a clear coat on it. Uh, but it is rated for like 10 to 15 years outdoor use. So definitely if you're putting on a skull, no problem, no worries there. Um, but Hope you like this. If you didn't see the video on putting a metal finish on a skull, there will be a link in the description for that video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, leave a comment below and I will reply to you. So thank you guys. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next week.